And the Kilmarnock side also showing some changes after that 6-1 defeat at the hands of St. Murn last week. McLean, Maxwell and Burke are replaced by Coburn, Gibson and Jim Clark. There's the stocky figure of young Jim Coburn. He's a new man to the Premier League also. 22 years old, signed from Ardrossan Winter Rovers three years ago. So it's Aberdeen to kick off. No doubt mindful of the fact that the last time they lost a Premier League match was here at Pataudry, 24 games ago, against the very same Kilmarnock. So they throw in the first throw of the match to Kilmarnock. There's young Jim Coburn. Gordon Crammon. Played out by Cooper. This is Drew Jarvie. Here's Scanlon. Checking inside the Kilmarnock skipper. Ryan Robertson is now crossed over to the right back position. The regular left back, of course. Here's Rugby. Cut off by Houston. Massive figure of Duke Houston staying in the box. So there's John McMaster and Gordon Strachan. Good rugby on the goal line. That's for rugby. And that's a great save from young Jim Brown. Never a man deserved a break. It's that young man at the second attempt bringing up a great save. You see the corner kick coming over. Good rugby at the near post. The head flick. And very fast reactions indeed from Jim Brown. So an early let off for Kilmarnock, but they can thank that young goalkeeper, Jim Brown. He's lost 15 goals in three Premier League matches. And there he is, confident enough to organise his defence ahead. But the corner kick at the other end to Kilmarnock. There's Ian Gibson. Six yard line out by Miller. Back it comes to Mocklin. And the crossbar saving Mark de Clark in the. Aberdeen goal, there's Alistair Mocklin, a tremendous volley from him. The ball played in from the corner kick, headed out by Willie Miller. Mocklin met it in a full volley, and Mark de Klerk flying through the air, couldn't stop that one, but the crossbar did. Here's Cooper. What a poise, the youngster. That's Kennedy's ball forward. Scanlon running wide. That's good play by Scanlon. The cut back coming for Jarvie. Well, Jim Brown's had his critics this season. That shot from Drew Jarvie, bringing out yet another marvellous save from the 20-year-old Kilmarnock goalkeeper. To have a free run in until Mark de Clark came racing off his line. A very athletic figure indeed. He just did enough diving at full length there to palm the ball away from the feet of Mocklin and eventually concede the free kick. So Gibson with a two-man wall, out there by McGee, in fact it was. Watson's header for McMaster, very cool play indeed. Aberdeen defence pouring out, Oak Cummins onside, still fighting for it, and the shot not just more than a foot away, Paul Clark the man. The left foot shot, Gordon Cummins just onside as that ball came through force it into the path of Paul Clark and that could so easily have been the first goal of the match. That goes for Kennedy. Strachan time to turn inside two players. He's still in possession. It's Gordon Strachan going all the way. Put down on the edge of the box. But the referee not interested in the Aberdeen appeals. He's attacking runs from Strachan causing the Kilmarnock defence a lot of trouble. Four goals and that's no scoring between Aberdeen and Kilmarnock. Disappointment on the part of the Aberdeen crowd. They've watched their favourites have territorial advantage. But they haven't carved out too many chances. Any they have carved out have been dealt with quite superbly by young Jim Brown in the Kilmarnock goal. So Kilmarnock set to the second half in motion. But they've certainly succeeded in their primary task so far to contain the Premier League champions but they've got 45 minutes now to continue that job and uh, perhaps try to sneak a goal at the other end. 
simply forward is Watson. Scanlon making the break on the left. McGee's in the box. In Scanlon does it again. A tremendous driven ball from a narrow angle, totally deceiving Jim Brown. And you can see the intelligent position taken up by Ian Scanlon as he broke to the left. There's no doubt at all that Jim Brown was thinking in terms of the cross ball. And Scanlon sent that across the face of the goal with tremendous power. We go in off the far post and give Aberdeen the breakthrough they've been looking for. That's beyond Cooper. Straight to Gibson. Now, can Kilmarnock produce something in attack? Gordon Crammond. Headed out by Watson. Now Mochlin. An intelligent ball over to Clark. Bobby Houston. Lucky can you get a tremendous header by Bobby Houston. That flighted cross there from Jim Clark. Houston stole into the midst of that Aberdeen defence, and the header had the Clark completely beaten. But it was the crossbar to the rescue. Paul Kilmarnock still coming forward. That's Cooper's thumping that one out. Scanlon held off that by Clark. Here's Paul Clark now. McGree screening the ball. Back it comes to McMaster. Followed by Mocklin. A chance now for a Kilmarnock. It's Bobby Houston. And once again, Bobby Houston's luck completely out. Threw in his own and goalkeeper Mark de Clark. He seemed to do everything right. But the angle for the finishing shot just a couple of feet out. So Mark de Clark suddenly brought into action and he's felt the power of the Kilmarnock attack. No doubt that will give Kilmarnock a lot of confidence to come and have a go at this Aberdeen defence. That ball bouncing. Dickin heading it down. Scanlon back to Strachan. Inevitably it's Gordon Crum and they're marking Strachan, the two smallest men in the field. And Crumman wins that little tussle. Cut off by Strachan. Still Strachan. Great determination. And a very bad tackle indeed at the end. That's Alistair Mocklin pulling down Strachan. It's just outside the box. A nice touch there from Gordon Crammond. But Alistair Mocklin will use the yellow card, I think, for the first time in the match. Gordon Strachan wriggling his way through. He showed great determination to retain possession. He got to the edge of the box. If he had got past Wallace Mocklin, a shooting chance was on, but the Romano midfield player pulled him down. And that's the reward, the booking for young Mocklin. And a free kick on the edge of the box for Aberdeen. Four men in the Kilmarna wall. McMaster perhaps going to bend one with his left foot. Or will Strachan try and send one over to the far corner? That's McMaster's short time. Jim Brown very alert indeed on the line. Bending that one round the wall, but straight at Jim Brown. Fine ball fighting Crammond. Three Kilmarnock players forward very quickly. There's one of them in Gibson and Mark the Clark there. Very impressively indeed. The Belgian goalkeeper took a knock for his pains. Kennedy forward to Cowan. Back to Strachan. Charlie to Stra to Cowan. McDickin in. Cowan trying to dummy Jim Coburn, but not deceiving the Kilmarnock man for a second. Here's Gibson. On the wide outside is Robertson. Well picked out by Gibson. Well, that's Bobby Houston coming in at the back, and it's Crowman jumping with Mark the Clark, in fact. And the goalkeeper certainly impressing the Aberdeen supporters. The first sight they've seen of him in a first team match 
Oliver Strachan. This is where Gordon Cramond was looking after Strachan, but a lot more space this time. Out to McMaster. Here's Scanlon. Not in any way hampered by that ankle lock in the first half. The strapping doing his job. There's Jarvie. Evening's. Please. 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 Please